Hi, my name is Kajol and you're watching me on MissMalini.com. Um, well, with Huggies, it started off a long time ago, actually, when my daughter was born. And, um, you know, I was like frantic and wanting, at that point of time, you're like, you know, you want what's, let me go try this also, let me go try that also. So I tried a lot of things and eventually I landed up with Huggies and I was really happy with it. I was really happy with it. So when my son was born, I was like back to that. I was like, you know, I must use it and things like that. And uh, of course, they approached me and I was like, wow, I get, <laughs> I'm endorsing something that I've tried and tested and true. So I was really happy about it. What's the one lesson? Listen to your mother. Most important of all, when your mother calls, reply and arrive from whichever part of the house that you're in. <laughs> ah, listen to my children, most importantly. When they talk, when they, whether they scream or they whisper, please listen to them. Whatever they're saying, try and decipher it and understand it. I think everything, all the values that I've tried to pass on to my kids, I've gotten from my mom. And uh, I didn't realize how important they were. I didn't realize what she was drilling into my head till I had kids of my own and I heard my mother's voice coming out of my mouth. And I was like, oh my God, I sound exactly like my mother. And then I realized, oh my God, I am becoming my mom. But it was, I only understood it then. I only understood it when I was doing it. That, you know, this was the reason why she wanted, why she was telling me all these things when I was a kid. I never got it. I just grew up and I assumed that I grew into whatever I was because, you know, of whatever. But I didn't realize that my mother had been, you know, putting all that, you know, manure into me and feeding me all this stuff just to make me who I am today. So true. You'll understand when you have kids. <laughs> yeah, so true. I was actually petrified of my mom when I was a kid. I was petrified. I was like a brat with everybody else. But when my mom was concerned, I was like this perfect angel. I never put one foot wrong with my mother. Because I knew for a fact that my mother wouldn't take any of my shit. <laughs> you know, she would just like hand it back to me on a silver platter. So, so I was like, yeah, there's lots of stuff that I remember doing as a kid. But the great thing about my mom was that she never, you know, said, you remember, I told you so. She would be just like, you learned your lesson, na? I'd be like, yeah, I learned my lesson no more. <laughs> I think you have to maintain it day by day. I don't think it's something that you can plan for. It's nothing, nothing that you can map out and say that, you know, I'm going to do this Monday and this on Tuesday and that on Wednesday. It's something that, you know, you have to think, of, uh, think about it from day to day, how much who needs you the most and, uh, you know, whether you're a better mom or whether you're a better wife or whether you're a better daughter on that particular day depends on which priority is the highest at that particular point of time. I don't, don't know about a mommy guide, but I'd love to write a book. I just don't sometimes think that I have the patience for it. <laughs> a lot of patience to write a book. I think it's wonderful to write a book. I would love to, but I just don't have the patience for it currently. Maybe at a later stage. Definitely, I would to be totally okay with it. Um, I would be totally okay with it, them doing anything, actually. Whatever they want to be, I will never push them and uh, tell them that, you know, you must join the films or anything like that or you must not join the films. I think that's their choice that they have to make and all I can give them is a stable childhood to grow up and to make that decision unbiasedly from. You know, it's too premature to talk about it. I really would love to, but it's just too premature. We haven't made that many decisions that we can tell you about, really. Mm, well, she hasn't approached me for it. If I had to return to do a sequel, I don't think sequels work. <laughs> I think from K3G, it would have to be that uh, the mad mother from K3G. She was fab, I loved her. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just think it takes too much time and energy, frankly, to be very honest with you. I just think it takes, I have, you know, I'm doing interviews. So it's not like I'm not talking to people. But uh, no, I, I can't sit and update my daily status and all. It's not happening. Oh, well, what can I say? Thank you so much, guys, for just liking me, loving me for so long. Keep it up! <laughs>